Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the last video, we have seen the overview of SCCM console. So now in this video, we are going to see, or we are going to learn what is the SCCM discovery method and a basic overview of the SCCM discovery, type of discovery method, how it works, how we can enable it, followed with the lab in the same video. So the first thing that comes into their mind when I say discovery is, I mean, finding something, right? or searching something. Same rules apply in the SCCM as well. In SCCM, uh, discovery means finding devices, users, user resources and, uh, and other identity as well. It could be network identity or network infrastructure in your environment. So SCCM has divided or we can say in the SCCM we have around six types of uh, discovery method. Uh, in in these discovery method we can identify or we can actually get those resources or those uh, machines or those network devices into our SCCM console so that we can manage those resources. So to use most of the discovery method the first thing that you need to do is you need to enable that discovery method uh, to a site or to a specific network or to a specific location from Active Directory and when it's run, um, I mean when we when we run it, it's query the specific location uh, for the information about the devices. Uh, it could be about the user's configurations and that can be managed from the SCCM. And when the discovery method is successfully completed, uh, for a particular resource or particular users it put that information into a file called DDR that is called discovery data record and later on this file processed by the SCCM primary server or a central administration site to process these DDR rec uh, created records into the site database. So basically whenever the SCCM fetch this information from discovery method uh, from a client, uh, client I'm referring it to system or it they discover the information from a user from an active directory they put it into a file called DDR and that DDR file uh, save that data into the database of that site database data. I mean to say if we have SCCM site database that will be saved into SCCM SQL Server. Now these DTR records, now these DTR records uh, have multiple information or we can say it has, uh, it discover a lot or it generate a lot more volumes and they, they and they, these information can significant uh, this information have a significant use like I mean, I mean we can we can collect the CPU resources we can use the users uh, details from it to meet certain requirement uh, in our day-to-day -day life okay now if I talk about there are six kind of discovery method in the SCCM uh, first is Azure Active Directory forest based discovery uh, this is the discovery uh, this is the discovery that is applied on Active Directory Forest. Uh, then entire Active Directory will be in your SCCM that get discovered. Second is your group discovery. So this is something where uh, you can actually get the uh, users, uh, not the users, I want to say the groups that are created into your Active Directory will get discovered in SCCM. Now these group or these group can be identified into SCCM or vis will be visible into SCCM and now these group type would be it could be a local group uh, it can be global okay and uh, it can be universal or it can be security group so these are the type of group that can be discovered also uh, there is a feature or maybe not it's a feature but uh, you can actually uh, 
import the member groups as well if you wanted but that have a certain limitation in it uh, one more thing I wanted to share about this uh, group discovery is I mean there are two kind of uh, discovery that discovery method to search this information uh, one is your location I mean you can apply the query based on the location and second is group okay so this is also very important in this scenario uh, now the third discovery is system discovery now system discovery is something uh, by which you can actually discover the active directory based systems into your SCCM by enabling this feature I mean this discovery method you will be able to visible all your systems it, either it could be uh, client OS or server OS both can be discovered based on your query method now this discovery method include certain attributes just like it can have the name of the computer uh, it can have the OS it can have the OS version it can have the container name which is called as organization unit it can have the IP address it can have the active directory site uh, you can import it very easily I mean it, it you can get the information uh, it can have the timestamp in your SCCM and many more so these are some basic uh, information or attributes that get recorded in SCCM it's the same method I um, mean once the discovery is successfully done the SCCM uh, the, that the, uh, it it create a DDR file of that computer and that will be saved into the database so this is how it work for the site system discovery now user discovery and when it come to the user discovery you actually can uh, discovers users users groups into SCCM and by default some of the attributes get, get also information get get reflect like username and we can get the unique user name which uh, which include the domain name uh, I mean FQDN or UPN uh, you can get the domain name as well this information can be uh, easily uh, be saved into your SCCM another one is the organization unit OU which is also get saved so these are some of the basic information that get discovered when you enable it until unless you discover it, none of the users will be shown into the SCCM so this is how it get now after that heartbeat discovery heartbeat discovery as the name suggests heartbeat uh, this actually uh, discover the state of the computer I mean whether when the last the machine was detected online on the network I mean the it can detect that cycle so discovery is based on a machines discovery now what is the network discovery network discovery is the discovery method by which you can actually enable or you can act by enabling this you can actually discover the network resources or you can search the network uh, your uh, network resources that have the IP address enabled resources I mean those resources which have the IP address in your in from your environment can be disabled so this is something if your device if, if your infrastructure has a DSCP in your environment and if it assigns some IP address to any of these devices that device will get discovered to the SCCM so this is called as discovery method suppose you have a network device and uh, which is called printer and if you wanted to get that to you know, onboard it or you're into SCCM that can be also done so that is uh, for network discovery there are other protocols as well that uh, some of that are SNP enabled devices and active directory domain services and route AP cache DSCP and uh, and in, in basically these there are some attributes that by default attributes can also get in uh, by default there are some attributes that got included just like NetBIOS name IP address resource domain uh, system role SN, SNMP uh, community name MAC address of the device can get easily be stored into DDR and that DDR can get 
have that information no uh, for the uh, for network discovery it's not get recorded into ddr it get recorded into a file called net discovery nest discuss dot log file which you can refer to uh, to check what are the discovery uh, what are the devices that get discovered so this is these are the discovery method into the sccm let's jump into the now to check the discovery uh, we have to go to the administration and we have to expand the this hierarchy configuration and the first option that we will got is the discovery method now the first option that comes as the discovery uh, by default these are got disabled so you have to enable it to enable it first option is uh, discovery forest active directory forest discovery uh, right click properties and if you click on this it will actually enable the forest discovery and if you see we have one dialog box called automatically create active directory site boundary when they are discovered so whenever a system get discovered it will be it will create a boundary and it will add it automatically now this discovery schedules every week one time what it get it's going to do it's doing to do a incremental update on every week but if i wanted to do it for day one or early update i can do it for now let's do it a day update so whenever a new system or something got changed into your forest it automatically scan it and it will update it so let's apply okay and done it so now you have seen it is enabled let's run a full discovery now um, also i wanted to show you something uh, not over here okay and now let's go to the group discovery right click property let's enable the group discovery and uh, now in the group discovery you have to give the location where exactly you wanted to uh, have that discovery to be run on which group so uh, in our case let me show you what we have done it uh, we have the domain called uh, domain this is the name corp.contosor.com and this is the organization unit that that's mean we have put the discovery on the top of the domain okay so it is like on the corp on the top but if i want a specific groups to be get discovered i can do that one also if i click on over here let's do one thing let me show you uh, i will go in add uh, let's have a location let's give a name test and let me have that group i want only corp devices or corp group to be a part of my sccm so if i click okay and if i click okay now what will happen the only corp group will get discovered however we have already put the uh, entire domain so everything will get discovered however if i remove the uh, the above one and if i select this one then only corp will get get this can get discovered okay let this delete this and let's have everything now when i go on polling schedule full discovery now what this will happen a full discovery will be happen so it will do a full discovery of your groups however you say i you, you can see i have enabled the delta discoveries also so what delta discoveries mean whenever there is a change into active directory suppose i have added a new group into the active directory then after 5 minutes whatever the change that i have made or two or five groups that i have added into the active directory that got synced into the sccm so this is called as delta update and if i go to the options you will find the discovery uh, that logged on on your domain and I, they have given actually a, a given period of time of 90 days of delta discovery let's do apply okay and okay now let's go to system discovery on system discovery uh, i have all here also we have given the uh, we have included what we have included a system where is i to it, it will be do doing the uh, search or discovering it now again this is on the top of the top of the domain so we are discovering everything into the sccm and when i click on enable and it will be applied however if you want something that 
you want to exclude suppose I want my corp or my domain controller not to be discovered in SCCM so what I will do I will click on over here and I have chooses the exclude so now everything get discovered in SCCM but domain controller will not be seen in SCCM now this is called as exclude and include groups so in this I have excluded the domain controller let's remove it we want everything to be added as a part of uh, our SCCM system discovery again on the schedule option the similar option apply okay when I come to the system users discovery again it's going to discover users from Active Directory we, uh, again this is entire domain controller it is taking and apply ok we have enabled heartbeat discovery property let's enable it is running heartbeat discovery full discovery will be happening once in a week apply ok and network discovery network discovery usually I have not seen I mean people do not apply or enable the network discovery one of the reason is if you enable the network discovery what will happen it will scanning the your every single device which get connected on your device and that information will be uh, fetched into your SCCM in that scenario what gonna be happening I mean your SCCM will be loaded with the lot of lot of information that is not required so it, it will be very hard to manage it so most of the scenarios people do not wanted to uh, get this option enabled but however in some of the circumstances it is it is a very good uh, tool or it a very good feature from SCCM that can be used to discover the network devices so this is how the discovery method runs and uh, if I talk about the log file I can help you to okay if you wanted to check the logs of the, the discovery method uh, we can go to the install install directory of your SCCM so in our case we have installed the SCCM in C drive we will go into the C drive program files uh, system configuration manager and here you will find the uh, logs folder inside the log folder you will find a number of log uh, just like active directory system discovery this is the log file that you have to refer it now uh, by if you open it directly you won't be able to discover it uh, to access this file you have there is a tool called CM trace uh, okay I will use it as a default now if you open it it will be open from the CS always CM trace tool now you from this tool you will be able to uh, read the file very efficiently now you can see that if you wanted to see what are the discovery that it is happening and how much time it has taken so it will help you to do it so see the processing discovery group so in this line you can see that it is going to discover this organization unit it is discovering this organization unit so this is how you can actually enable the discovery and you can check the logs this is for Azure Active Directory it is for uh, Active Directory system discovery same is same is with user discovery you can see this is the log for user discovery and there are some other logs as well uh, just like uh, let's check system discovery so there will be a log why sys discovery something and uh, you can have a look into it so that uh, that's all for this this video uh, let's if you like the video please like and subscribe and let's catch up into the next video thank you so much